The first and only U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, located right here in downtown Colorado Springs, was supposed to open up back on Memorial Day. Unfortunately, the pandemic put that on hold, but looking ahead, it may be open to visitors as early as the end of the month with some different safety and social distancing measures in place. News 5, Jessica Barreto joins us live this morning near the museum with the latest. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Ira, and good morning, everyone. Well, the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum, which stands out against the downtown cityscape with its diamond panels and its glass windows, is 95% complete. Now, the board of directors is hoping to welcome visitors between late July and early August with some safety measures in place, like time ticketing that will limit the amount of visitors inside the facility at once and some high-tech features that will limit touching. Now, the museum features some high-tech exhibits honoring the history of the United States Olympic and Paralympic movement while celebrating the achievements of its athletes. It broke ground in June of 2017 and is now getting its final touches, like some landscaping on the outside, some power washing on the inside, but exhibits for the most part are ready to go. In one of those, you'll get to see different Olympic torches up close. Now, there are some screens you can use to navigate the exhibits, but to cut down on touching, each guest will get a complimentary stylus. The guest experience here at the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Museum is going to be a, a really wonderful and high-tech experience. Uh, lots of interactive technology, uh, lots of opportunity to see historically significant artifacts, uh, and a really exciting interactive visit. The $90 million museum is part of an initiative called City for Champions, which aims to attract visitors to the city of Colorado Springs and the state of Colorado with unique venues. The museum is 60,000 square feet, and when it's done, it'll also feature a space for special events and Olympic gatherings. Now, originally, the museum had estimated it would get about 350,000 visitors per year, but obviously COVID has changed that, and now they're working to figure out how many guests they can save safely welcome each day. Now tickets aren't on sale yet, but when they are, those who have a membership with the museum will get early access and then all the tickets will be available to the general public on their website, usopm.org. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.